Hey everyone, welcome back to Booster Income with Bootstrap to WordPress. We're entering another new section here called Bootstrap Templates. This lecture is called Coding the Basic Web Page Layout. Okay, so what you're going to want to do now is open up your code editor of choice. Mine, as always, is Coda 2. If you are a regular student of mine, you will know that I sing its praises regularly because it saves me hours of time and therefore it saves me hundreds, if not thousands of dollars by this point in my career. I use it daily, I use it hourly, it makes me money, and it saves me money. It's an amazing code editor. If you're using a Mac, I highly suggest it. You can check it out at bradhussey.ca slash coda2. Otherwise, if you're on a PC, if you have a code editor of choice, you can go ahead and open that up. Uh, one that I recommend is Notepad++. There are a few other ones as well. And for Mac, there are other free options as well, like Text Wrangler and other things like that. So open up your code editor and make sure to open up your B2W folder in your code editor right here. I have it queued up B2W and you'll see here that I've already created an index.html file. Go ahead and do that and open up that file. And right here, we're going to start coding our basic HTML layout. The first thing in any HTML file is the doc type. And because we're going to be using HTML5, the doc type is very simple and looks like this. Perfect. All right, if you're using Coda 2, you can use a few keyboard shortcuts to speed up your coding. Like I said, I use Coda 2 because it helps me save time with typing and writing the same things over and over and over again. So bear me, bear with me with the speed of this. Uh, you can go ahead and pause. That's what's great about this. We're using video. Go ahead and pause. If you can't keep up, if you're using Coda 2, then follow along like the ninja that you are. Basic page, boom, there it is. So we have our HTML head and body so our basic html layout right here let's just write out bootstrap to wordpress in our title and also within our head we're just going to add a few uh meta tags and things like that because we're going to be utilizing them once we turn this into a wordpress site okay so let's just add them up here at the very top meta http equiv equals content dash type and then content text HTML char set equals UTF dash eight. This is just basically just giving the browser some extra information about our web page and the content that we're serving up. So if you want to research these, no problem, go ahead. But otherwise, just add them in. It's all good. It won't hurt if you don't add them, but it's always nice to add them. All right. Meta name viewport. And the content of this will be width equals device dash width comma initial scale equals one. Okay. So that meta tag is for the viewport. So when we make this responsive, this will tell the mobile devices um, the width and the initial scale. Meta name, description, content. Leave this one empty because we're going to be updating this dynamically in WordPress when we get there. Next one, meta name, whoops, meta name author content same this will be updated in wordpress now we're going to add a link tag for our uh, rel icon this is for our favicon we'll add this a little bit later unless in our assets folder we already have our favicon there it is okay so all we'll need to do here is just say assets slash image slash favicon.ico. So that will give us the little favicon graphic in the address bar of our browser, or when you bookmark the, the web page on your browser, where you already have title. And then let's add HTML5 shiv respond JS. So those things are basically, let me explain them here. 
HTML5 shiv and respond.js basically gives IE8 support of HTML5 elements and media queries, which we will be using with Bootstrap. I'm gonna tab this in here. So right here, this is a conditional comment for Internet Explorer 9. It's basically an HTML5 comment that only Internet Explorer can read because Internet Explorer sucks. Just to put it nice and simple. If less than IE9, so this is saying, okay, IE9 and up, they're okay. Don't don't use this. Uh, but if you're less than IE9, it's going to serve up a couple scripts here. So script source is the HTML5 shiv JS here and the respond JS. So this will just help IE8 have support of HTML5 elements. So go ahead and pause the video if you haven't already typed this out and add that in there. Otherwise, you can open up the course files and open up the index file, check out the head, and then just copy this section out to make sure you don't have any typos. All right, moving on. Down here in our body, this is where we're going to add a few more things. Just some basic web page layout things. All right, so we're going to add an HTML5 header. And we're not going to add all the content right now. We're just going to add the markup so that we can add the content and the rest of the markup a little bit later in the upcoming lectures. So we have the header. Let's go ahead and after that, give some space and we're going to add the a section tag. And that will be for the hero. And I'm just going to start adding some HTML comments as well. Um, HTML comment looks like this. Because I'm using Coda, I have a uh, little comment uh, keyboard shortcut, HTML comment. And right here, I'm just going to say hero. So I just have a really clear HTML flag to see the sections. It's just, it's kind of, it's kind of nice for layout and for seeing where I am, organization. All right, so we're going to go down to the next section, and that will be our HTML comment opt in section and that will also be a section tag and after that we have another HTML comment and that will be the boost your income section and that would again another HTML5 section tag after that, we have the who benefits section. Okay. Then we have our course features section. After that, we're going to add our project features section. Then the video featurette section. Then the instructor section. After the instructor section, we have a testimonials section. After testimonials, we have a sign up section after our sign up section we have the whoops footer and that will be in html5 footer tag so we could be as semantic as possible and give as much meaning to our HTML as we can. After our footer, so this is the layout for the home page. It's obviously 
got a lot of content as you've already seen. We've got a lot of sections. Let's get another HTML5 comment here. HTML comment. Header. Perfect. At the bottom, after our footer, we have the pop-up or modal window. For those of you who have been following along for a while, I've had a few students say, hey Brad, you're saying modal wrong. You're saying modal. I don't know if I have a funny accent or something, but I used to always call it modal because I just sounds fancier. Modal just sounds sloppy, but I'll call it modal because I like you guys. All right, HTML comment. We're gonna add the modal here and this is gonna be a div. Just leave that for now. We'll fill that in when it comes up. Let's leave it at that for this lecture. In the next lecture, we have a couple more things we have left to do for this specific file. And then we're gonna jump into the next part. So I'll see you in the next lecture. Bye.